direction, solve and graph each absolute value inequality. All right, this one, the way that I had taught you how to do it, we'll have two different inequalities. We're going to have m is greater than or equal to 8, and our second one is going to be m is less than or equal to negative 8. We're all ready to put things on the number line. So negative 8 goes on one side, 8 goes on the other. Let's put 0 in the middle. Greater than or equal to 8 will be a closed-in circle pointing to the right. Less than or equal to negative 8 will be a closed-in circle pointing to the left. And since we have a disconnected graph, we get to put the word or in between my two inequalities. All right, problem 10, the absolute value of t is less than 3. Writing my two inequalities, I'm going to have t is less than 3. My second one will be t is greater than negative 3. So we're ready to graph. Negative 3 goes on one side, 3 goes on the other, 0 in the middle. Okay, t is less than 3 is an open circle at 3 pointing to the left. t is greater than negative 3 is an open circle at negative 3 pointing to the right. So this makes a connected graph. So we will put the word and in there. This is acceptable, or you can rewrite it as negative 3 is less than t, which is less than 3. Problem 11, the absolute value of x plus 6 is less than or equal to 2. We need two inequalities again. x plus 6 is less than or equal to 2. My second one will be x plus 6 is greater than or equal to negative 2. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, solve it. So I'll subtract 6. I'll get x is less than or equal to negative 4. And this one I'll subtract 6, and I'll get x is greater than or equal to negative 8. So we're ready to put those numbers on the number line. They're both negative. Negative 8 is smaller than negative 4, so it goes to the left. And I'll just put negative 6 in between those two. All right, less than or equal to negative 4 is a closed circle at negative 4 pointing to the left. Greater than or equal to negative 8 is a closed-in circle pointing to the Right, so once again, it is a connected graph, so I can write the word and. If I would like to rewrite that, it's totally up to you. If you did, it would be negative 8 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to negative 4. All right, number 12. 6, absolute value x minus 7 minus 1 is greater than 35. We can't write two inequalities yet because the 6 and 1 are in our way. So let's start by adding 1. So I'll get 6, absolute value of x minus 7 is greater than 36. And then let's divide both sides by 6, so I'll get x minus 7 is greater than 6. Now I'm ready for my two inequalities, so I'll have x minus 7 is greater than 6. My other one will be x minus 7 is less than negative 6. Right on this one, we get to add 7, so I'm going to get x is greater than 13. And then on this side, if I add 7, I'll get x is less than 1. So let's go ahead and graph that. 1 will go on one side. 13 goes on the other. I think I'll put 5 in the middle, just any number in the middle. Okay, greater than 13 will be an open circle at 13 pointing to the right. Less than 1 is an open circle at 1 pointing to the left. It is a disconnected graph, so we will use the word or. Question 13. A manufacturer of bicycle parts requires that a bicycle chain have a width of 0.3 inches with an absolute error of at most 0.0003 inches. Find the possible width of bicycle, bicycle change that the manufacturer will accept. All right, I'm going to circle what I want it to be. So I really want it to be 0.3, but I can be off in either direction. So I can, if I'm off in this direction, it's a little too high, I'm going to add 0 0.0003. I could also be off in the other direction, which means I'd subtract 0 0.0003. So if I subtract it, I'm going to get 0 0.2. Nine nine seven, and in the other direction, I'm going to get through point three zero zero three. All right, and it would be inches, and it could be anything. It says find the possible width, so it could be any anything between those two. So that's why I'm going to put a dash showing it could be anything from this one to this one.